Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can write or update the coil status from our Raspberry Pi Pico W to remote mode bus TCP server. Okay, so in this case also our Raspberry Pi Pico is acting as a mode bus TCP client and it will connect to our remote mode bus TCP server and it will update the coil status remotely. Now in this video, we are going to see this topic how we can write or update the holding register values from our Raspberry Pi Pico to our remote Modbus TCP server or remote Modbus TCP device. So in that case also our Raspberry Pi will work as a remote client, remote Modbus TCP client and we are going to update the values of holding register of our remote Modbus TCP server or our remote Modbus TCP device. Okay, so first we have to set up our remote Modbus TCP server so we are going to use modbus slave for this so modbus slave will work as a remote modbus tcp server and here we will go to setup and then we will go to slave definition here we will select holding register because we want to change the values of holding register from our raspberry pi pico w so this is why we are going to choose the function as a holding register and then we will go to connection and then we will go to connect we will select Modbus TCP IP connection port number 502 and then we will press OK. So our Modbus TCP server, remote Modbus TCP server is up and running with the device ID 1 and function code 3. So it is our holding register from 40,000 to 40,009. Okay. Now we will open Thony to program our Raspberry Pi Pico. So here is my Thony. Let me open it. Okay, so our Thony is open. Now we will copy our code from our GitHub repository. So let me copy this code. Okay, so control C and we will copy here. Okay, so if you are using this code in your system, then you have to change this SSID and password of your Wi Fi. And then after you have to change the IP address of remote Modbus TCP server. Now in this case, my remote Modbus TCP server is running in my local system. So I have to find IP address of my local system. So IP config and here is my IP address of my local system. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Okay, now port number 502 slave address is one as you can see here and the holding register address which we want to update is 5 so we are going to update value of this holding register okay now what value we are going to update so instead of 0 we will update to 44 okay so here we are creating Morbus TCP client and here we are updating the value of our selected holding register and the value we are going to update is 44 so let me run this code and the value of this holding register it will change from 0 to 5 44 sorry okay so you can see here our pi pico w is connected to wi-fi and the ip address of our pi pico w is here and um, it is updating the data on my remote modbus tcp server and the location of remote mode bus tcp server is here and the result of setting holding register 5 of that operation is true so raspberry pi has completed the operation and the operation got success and as you can see here the holding register 5 its value got changed from 0 to 44 now i want to change it to 45 or i can say 100 then i just have to change value to 100 and then i have to run the script again so it will change from 44 to 100 again okay so our pi is connecting with wi-fi and it has changed the value of my remote modbus tcp server now i want to change the value of different register so i want to change value of register number 8 to 8 okay so let me run the script here okay so as you can see here value of this holding register change from 0 to 8 
So this is how you can use your Raspberry Pi Pico to connect with your remote mode bus TCP server and you can update the holding register values from your Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, so I hope this is clear and if you have any doubt in this, you can ask me in the comment section. You can also ask me on the Telegram, Instagram and WhatsApp. The link of all social media platform is in the description of this video. So I hope everything is clear that how you can perform the right operation from your Raspberry Pi Pico to your Morbus TCP device or Morbus TCP server which is on the remote system or which is running somewhere else. So I hope everything is clear and we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.